In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working on perpendicular lines in the coordinate plane. So first of all, just a quick review, perpendicular lines are two lines that meet at a right angle. Their slopes are important because the slopes are always going to be opposite reciprocals. So in this question where it says, find the slope of the perpendicular lines to the lines below, that means we should look at each of the slopes given, which are just the coefficients of x, and find the opposite reciprocal to those values. So for the first one, the opposite reciprocal of 2 is negative 1 half. And you get the 1 half because you have to remember 2 is really just 2 over 1. And when you flip 2 over 1, flip the fraction, you get 1 over 2. For negative 2 thirds, the slope of the perpendicular line would be positive 3 over 2. And for the last one, the way I circled it, it looks like a 0, but this is really a slope of 1. If it just says x, it means 1x. So the slope of the perpendicular line will be negative 1. Now remember, 1 is 1 over 1, so when you take the reciprocal of 1, you still just have 1. That's why it looks like we've only just changed the sign. All right, let's look at example B. Find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to y equals negative 1 third x plus 4 and passes through 9, negative 5. Now, to be perpendicular to that line, this line has a slope of negative 1 third, so that means the line we're looking for will have a slope of positive 3 over 1, or just 3. So the line we are looking for will start out as y equals 3x plus, and then we don't know our y-intercept, b yet. In order to figure that out, I can plug in this given point for x and y in our equation here in order to solve for b. So if I do that, I have negative 5 equals 3 times 9 plus b. 3 times 9 is 27. So as I go through, I'm just trying to solve for b. I'll minus 27 from both sides, and I get negative 32 equals b. So now I actually know my equation because I know the y-intercept I'm looking for and the slope is 3. So my final answer will be y equals 3x minus 32. All right, one more example. Graph 3x minus 4y equals 8 and 4x plus 3y equals 15. Determine if they are perpendicular. So the easiest way to graph would be to first solve each of these equations for y. Because then we can quickly see what the slope is and if we, the slopes are opposite reciprocals, we'll know that they are perpendicular without even really having to graph them. So 3x minus 4y equals 8. I want to solve this for y to put it into y equals mx plus b form. When I do this, I start by minusing 3x from both sides and get negative 4y equals negative 3x plus 8. I write it like this just so that it starts to look like y equals mx plus b form. Now I'm going to divide everything by negative 4 in order to get it in the form y equals. Negative divided by negative is positive, so this will just become 3 fourths x, and then this becomes negative 2 because it's a positive divided by a negative. The important part, though, is that the slope of the first line is 3 fourths. So let's see what the slope of the second line is. For this second equation, it starts out as 4x plus 3y equals 15. I'm going to minus 4x from both sides, and I end up with 3y equals negative 4x plus 15. Now I'm going to divide every part by 3, and I get y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 5. So the important part again is the slope, and the slope of this line is negative 4 thirds. Well, because these two slopes are opposite reciprocals, that means that the two lines are perpendicular. So we can say, are they perpendicular? Yes.